Hello everybody, Virtual Rook here. Hope you're having a wonderful May 6th so far. And today I just wanted to go over a couple of VR games that are coming to your VR headsets very soon. Have you ever wanted to capture the elegance, nay, the majesty of being a popular content creator on YouTube? Well then content warning might be for you. And you're in luck. It's coming to VR very soon. In fact, I think it might be out now. Created by Landfall Studios, you can gear up with your friends and go on monster hunts in a, I don't know, like a desolate wilds version of the Earth? I still don't really know what the storyline is, but it's currently out now on PC. Let's take a look. Citrus, we need to take this camera. This is Citrus's first game, by the way, guys. Uh, say hi in the comments to Citrus Bird. We need to go in Hello. into that ship, um, film cool stuff for our viewers and then upload the video and make views which make us money to make more views and more money so let's go Hoorah! all right we've landed we've touched down so now we're going to try finding something scary to get on to get on film for you guys all right so we've just been suggested can you touch it yeah Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, you jumped. Oh, keep running, keep running. Don't look back. Don't look back. Okay. Okay. We gotta move. We gotta move. <laughs> that thing. Run, run. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna get that, 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 And if that isn't scary enough for you, might you consider playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Help Wanted in VR? I know it's technically been out for a while now, but if you are a Quest 3 user and you haven't gotten to play the game yet, because maybe you don't have a VR ready PC, which is totally understandable, May 9th, the game will be coming to Quest 3. So look forward to that. Let's take a look. You there! Are you a self-starter? Got references? We don't care. Fazbear Entertainment is looking for fresh blood. My last assistant just wasn't cut out for this line of work. So, we're a bit short-staffed at the moment. It's not all fun and games. This is hard work. And hard work is for winners! You need to be great at customer service. Technical support, safety and security, and game testing. With any luck, you will have a shred of artistic talent. You better be an A+. Plus. You are now teaching at a high school level. There's no room for A- minuses at Fazbear's. What do you say? Ready to join a winning team? Good. First, you need to get me ready for my next performance. How do I look? It's showtime. Are you a fan of tactical squad-based strategy games? Do you maybe spend way too much time playing XCOM? Well, the Neon Squad might be the futuristic cyberpunk VR game for you. Created by Tiny Man Games, it promises to be a futuristic showdown between five companies fighting for resources in a cyberpunk world. And it looks like you can play with friends, against friends, or by yourself if you want, which I just like the combination of those things. But if that piques your fancy, then look forward to it coming out on the Quest 3 sometime mid this year.
I'm in Germany in some ten years. And last but certainly not least, let's take a relaxing, cool break where we think about our childhoods and the fun that we would have with our toys and such. And now imagine that you get to control an airplane with your hand and fly it through wild terrains. Kid Pilot hopes to capture some of that childhood whimsy. And honestly, like, even though this is a simpler game, I really think that it looks cute and fun. And also the soundtrack's a banger. Kid Pilot was created by Flamingo Simulation Systems and will be coming out on PC and Meta headsets May 23rd, so like really soon. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video game recap. Uh, what do we think? Is anybody excited for any of these? I'm, I'm kind of not ashamed, but like, I don't know. Something about Kid Pilot is just really cute. That game seems like it's going to be adorable. I like that it's just like sit down, relax, have fun, fly around. It just seems good. But if you think that you'll pick any of these up, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, if there's any other games that you've seen recently that you think that I should cover, then also put that down in the comments and uh, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hi. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm Virtual Rook. <laughs> nice to meet you. Also, if you're interested, make sure you catch my live streams every day, 2 p.m. Pacific time. That's about all I have to say for today. So I guess have a good one, everybody. I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.